Hi there folks and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a watch from a, uh, an American micro brand called Sangamon Watches. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about those uh, in a little while but these, the watch in here I think is going to be a bit of a polarizer or as we in the UK say a bit of a Marmite watch. It's not going to be for everyone um, but uh, there are some very very cool touches on this watch. Very cool indeed and if you like your, uh, your cars and your history particularly your American history and uh, American muscle cars then you need to stick around and see this. But before we go any further uh, I must give uh, a big shout out to a very good friend of mine, Average Joe, from Average Joe Watch Reviews in uh, Philadelphia, who has very, very kindly sent me this watch. Uh, he hasn't only sent it for review, he has gifted it to me. I do not have to send it back. So, Average Joe, thank you so much. So, what we will do is we will open this box, and there is the watch. And, uh, first of all... I'm going to put this here. There we go. Average Joe Watch Reviews YouTube channel. Get over there and subscribe, please. Go and give him, show him some love. Okay, let's get into the watch. Uh, the box itself is actually really nice. You know, quite quite a solid make. It's sort of uh, hard cardboard. Um, now the watch comes on its little cushion, and we will. Move that to one side because uh, there's some other bits and pieces that we need to go through as well. Um, so here we go. Uh, dimensions first. Um, sorry, I've just knocked the camera. Uh, we have a, a case size of 44 millimeters. We have a case thickness of 12 millimeters. Uh, actually came up at 12.5 when I measured it. Uh, there are various colours of this, which I will show you shortly. Um, we have uh, a, uh, a lug width of 22 mil. Um, if you wanted to change the strap out, but we'll come to the strap in a little while. Um, we have a uh, Seiko NH35A automatic movement in there. So, you know, good, reliable movement, power reserve, 41 hours, 24 joules. Um, the watch itself has a water resistance of 50 meters and the uh, lug to lug height, which is probably one of the most important measurements, which I nearly didn't tell you, is actually quite a substantial 53 mil. Um, but just getting into uh, to this piece itself, let's uh, just bring you nice and tight in on that dial so we can see what we've got going on here, because there is quite a lot. Um, Around the outside, you've got this kind of gear mechanism looking bezel, uh, which uh, is fixed, it doesn't rotate, um, and that's got your hour markers on it. Uh, moving in, we have from zero, working round to 120, which is a, uh, a nod to the, uh, the old-fashioned American muscle car speedos, because they tended to top out at 120. Uh, as you can see, then we've got uh, um, some sort of kind of multi-levels going on on this dial, and uh, the uh, kind of pride of place in the centre is uh, that I believe it's a torque thrust mag wheel from the 1970s and you can see the hub there in the middle. The applied Sangamon logo um, is actually the, um, it's, it's designed around the river that, uh, that is local to uh, Sangamon watches which I think is pretty cool to have, uh, have that built into your logo. Uh, we have a uh, framed date window at three o'clock with a white background. Uh, some people prefer a darker background or a dark dial. Personally, I don't mind either. Um, I think with a uh, with a white background, it obviously helps with legibility. The uh, handset is uh, skeletonized. There's no loom on any of uh, any of the hands. Uh, but as you can see, you know the white against that brown bronze color. It's uh, it's a very legible very legible watch. Uh, we have automatic written at the bottom and uh, spirit at the uh, six o'clock position, which is the spirit of uh, the uh, Route 66. Uh, the crown is a push-pull crown, 
got some nice nice knurling on there and because it's a uh, um, a Seiko NH35 we have hand winding and uh, we pull it out it's actually a little tricky to get at there we go pull it out to the first position oh sorry second position I always do that and we have we have the uh, the time changing so uh, if we go all the way around well, while we're here at position two we'll have a look and we'll see where the uh, where the date changes over so where do we are uh, we're beginning now at just before 10 minutes to 11 and we keep going round and we're moving across now and then we have date change around about 11.55 um, the, uh, the date itself which will change on position 1 um, typical NH35 movement changes very very crisply very very easy to do nice feedback from the crown as well as you can see these uh, crown guards on there which are going to protect that crown nicely and the uh, the nice signed etched Sangamon logo on the end of the crown uh, looking at the case we've got these little recesses here um, which are kind of slightly more brushed uh, maybe kind of bead blasted look as opposed to the uh, the rest of the case which is actually a uh, very nice very high quality brushing it's a stainless steel case 316L stainless steel which is then uh, PVD coated in bronze um, which is very cool we have a uh, dome domed sapphire crystal with AR coating um, even though it's domed it doesn't give a lot of distortion um, it's actually very legible pretty much at any angle that you put it at um, which is actually quite nice um, you know a lot of people like the uh, distortion effect and I do I do I do really love the distortion effect but it's nice to see a domed sapphire crystal where you don't get too much of that uh, now we're going to flip this watch over and have a look at the case back which I think is extraordinarily cool I mean there we go if you like your Americana how about that? Route 66, the Mother Road collection. America's Main Street. So we have Sangamon Watch Company and 50 meters water resistant stainless steel. And you can see it's got that kind of radial brushing going on there. And I believe this is laser engraved into the back. And that has got to be, if I'm honest, that's got to be one of the coolest case backs that I have ever seen. That is really, really nice. Um, I mean, I've been wearing this watch quite a bit, as you'll see with the strap. Um, we are talking about the strap. We've got this distressed leather or distressed looking leather. And uh, for a strap straight out of the box, this has got to be one of the best quality straps that I have ever come across. It's, uh, it's nice, it's soft, it's pliable, it's extraordinarily comfortable. Uh, you've got the holes for the rally styling, uh, a nice signed buckle with Sangamon. Uh, there we go, you can just about see that, get that in the light, which is uh, nicely brushed, nicely brushed tang, which fits into that little recess quite nicely. No uh, wobble on it as such. Uh, the inside is a, a slightly more polished look to it. Uh, moving down to the other end, uh, there we go, we've got the same thing and you've got your adjustment holes, plenty of adjustment holes there and it's actually quite nice because I've quite, got quite a large wrist, this this strap is, is plenty big enough for uh, you know guys certainly with eight, eight and a half, probably even nine inch wrists, uh, it's, go it's going to fit quite well um, straight out of the box. Um, now, the, the, the rest of the range on this, which we'll just pop that down there for a mo, and uh, just move you out. Um, for the, uh, the Mother Road collection, this is the range that they do. Now, they are all limited edition. Um, the uh, the tie-dye one at the end here, I believe, is limited to only 20 pieces. And uh, the other four colorways are limited to 310 pieces worldwide now as you can see if you're not a fan of the bronze one then you've got uh, you know your white dial with stainless steel black dial with stainless steel gold 
um, PVD coated with a black dial. Uh, there's got to be something there for everyone if you like your motor racing um, and uh, your, your, your kind of, uh, you know, your road trips, if you like your road trips. And, uh, you know, Route 66 um, is, yeah, it's incredibly famous. I mean, everybody worldwide should know and um, probably knows about it. Uh, but there we go. Inside you get uh, a nice little kind of little piece of history. You can see the road going from Chicago to Los Angeles. Um, I mean, obviously a lot of Route 66 is closed down now, but I do believe that they've been uh, they've been working really hard, and a lot of it is is now open again. Uh, but yeah, that's also a very cool touch as well. Yeah, really nice. Um, now the rest of the range from Sangam and Watch Company, we'll go through that and have a quick look while we're here. We have the American Heritage Watches. Now this is the Lincoln Collection. Um, so you yeah, have some really quite nice looking dress watches. Um, and you can see down there their website, www.sangamonwatches.com. Um, yeah, I, I can thoroughly recommend you going over there and having a look. I mean, the prices are, they're, 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 they're not extortionate. I believe they've got a sale on at the moment. I think I'm right in saying that uh, the one that we've got on the table here today is around about um, 289 in dollars. Um, but, you know, please go over, check it out and have a look. Um, they are a very approachable company as well. They, you know, they, uh, they're, they're, they're quite happy to answer questions. Um, then we have uh, another one in their range, which is uh, the Omaha Beach Collection. And uh, hopefully everybody that's watching this knows what Omaha Beach is about. If you don't, Check out June the 6th, 1944, Operation Overlord and Omaha Beach, where the Americans suffered huge, huge losses and, uh, in uh, the landings in Normandy during the Second World War. So, yeah, definitely that's a, a, a well, well worthwhile to go and have a look at the, the rest of their range. Um, you get uh, a two-year warranty. Uh, with these watches and you also get access to um, their dock as well like a, a bit like a uh, an owner's club if you like um, which is also a, a very nice touch uh, so it kind of a very a very personalized experience um, but yeah I actually really like this watch and I like it in the bronze I am a sucker for a bronze watch whether it be uh, PVD coated or whether it's actual bronze but uh, yeah, I'm just going to bring you in a bit closer. I'll just give you a quick trip around this dial again. And uh, then uh, we'll close out this video. And just while I'm doing that, I am going to give another shout out to Average Joe Watch Reviews. Thank you so much for sending me this piece. I am really enjoying it. Um, it's actually had a few comments and you know, I've got a couple of sons that they, they also like their watches as well. And uh, this has actually been quite a talking point. It's, uh, yeah, it's a really well built watch. Really well built. Thoroughly recommend it. If you like your Americana, definitely go check them out. Okay, well, that is it for now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, I would appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up, a like, um, and uh, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload any more content. Okay, I can't, there's not much more I can say about this. So uh, thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers for now. Bye.